Will this trigger on me? Oh, yeah, it will. Okay. So that's going to actually work. That's going to actually work, because as they're coming up the ladder, they're going to get thumped by the spikes. Let's see, if we can, let's see if we can get him to come far enough over to get... There we go! And I'll give you a spike in the nuts, too. Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we got to get ready for Horde Night. It is Horde Night 105, the daytime... Uh, in the daytime, Horde Day. Is Horde Day appropriate? Yeah, it's Horde Day 105. <laughs> and so, yeah, we're going to get work on getting uh, the Horde base prepared. And then if I have time, I'm going to do a little bit of mining before the Horde Night starts. Okay, so let's get started with some food. Uh, we ha have the ability to make uh, some food, so we'll make some gumbo. Let's see. We will make some shepherd's pie. Uh, we'll make some sham chowder. And it looks like that's it for our high-end stuff, but that's pretty good. So we'll get that stuff made up. Uh, in my inventory, I have the spike straps, uh, spikes, powered spike strap that we're going to try for the Horde Knight itself. And you know what, too? I've got a bunch of pipe bombs already made up. Let's take those over there now so they're there. And I also want to make sure we're loaded up on 762s. Uh, for the Horde Knight as well. So we'll take that stuff over. I've got wiring tool. I've got some scrap wires. I can't remember if I have some of that stuff over there already. And I don't know... I honestly don't remember if I did any um, repairing after Horde Knight was left over. I think maybe I did. I think maybe I got everything repaired, but I'm not sure. Let's take a steroid just so we can move a little bit better here with all the stuff that's in our inventory. Uh, I made 300 more shotgun shells. We'll grab those two. Uh, that gives us 500 shotgun shells for the Horde Knight. So we should have plenty of ammo between the shotgun shells, the pipe bombs, the 7.62s, and then, of course, using our sledgehammer. Okay, so let's get going here with, uh, or get some food, rather. Put this stuff in here. And we need to eat something. Let's let's go ahead and throw back the gumbo. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Okay, so gotta think. There was something else I was gonna do before we left. Oh, I wanna make the shotgun tube mod. Right, so that's probably made in here, I'm thinking. The ballistics table. Shotgun tube extender mod. Let's grab one of those. That'll take one minute, and then we can put that on our pump shotgun. Uh, oh, hold on. I already have one. Stop. Did we... I must have either looted one or bought one. Never mind. Okay, I guess we don't need to do that after all. <laughs> it's a good thing I looked, huh? Okay, so we'll put that stuff back in there. This is going to go back in here. And let's see, we got some gasoline. We got some concrete. If we do need to do some concrete repairing. And... I grabbed, and we have a, a total of 163 pipe bombs, which should be plenty. Rock busters, I'll take that with me for mining later. Uh, let's, yeah, let's look in here for anything else we might need medicine-wise. We're very low on health kits, so that's something we're going to have to kind of be careful of. we got to learn an elixir, some moonshine. Um... Moonshine is just like a really beefed up version of Fort Bites, except for that it lasts half the time. What else do we got in here? Oh, yeah, we're going to want some oh shit drops, so we'll take a couple of those. Uh, we're going to want a little bit of recog. We're going to want skull crushers. Atom junkies. Do we have atom junkies? We have four atom junkies. Okay, so yeah, we'll take those with us too. And maybe we'll take some Fort Bites as well. The problem with the moonshine is you get the, you know, the drunk effect, which I don't think I have the ability that, you know, removes the blurring effect. I'm not sure if I do or not, actually. Looks like we need a little bit more wood to finish this out. And that'll give us a total of six sham chowders. And that's going to be our food for the road. Food that we'll take with us and just kind of keep in our inventory. Uh, we'll put the shepherd's pies in here. You know what, though? This gives us 52 health. 
Maybe we should hang on to these so we can actually use them more as a health potion. How much health did this give us? Well, that gives more than the shepherd's pie. 52. This gives a lot more food. Okay, yeah. We'll, we'll keep the shepherd's pies in here then for now. And we'll use the sham chowders as a healing potion if if we you know completely run out of of health kits. I got three first aid bandages, one big first aid bandage, and six pain cones, and that's it. So yeah, we're pretty low on that stuff. Okay, so I think we're ready to head over to uh, the horde base. Let's just top off our beverage here a little bit more. And in fact, we could probably make some more. Um, mineral water what do we need for that oh we're short on goldenrod okay never mind never mind okay let's head over to the horde base and make sure it is ready to go for tonight ow every once in a while when i jump down on these things i do in fact sprain my leg which kind of sucks Where's my motorcycle? It's right there. Uh, also, while I'm thinking about it, I want to put three of those in there to take out to the mine with us. Okay, so we've got... Definitely have stuff in here for repairing, which is good. Um, so let's see. How are you doing on fuel? You're completely out of fuel. Really? How'd that happen? Did I just leave it running? I'll bet you I left it running. That wasn't very smart. Okay. Okay, so we'll refuel that. And it looks like I did indeed repair everything, which is fantastic. I'm glad I took the time to do that, because now we don't have to worry about that right now. Everything seems to be in very good condition. So, yeah, we just need to figure out what we're going to do with the spike traps. Now, what I was thinking of is... Can we put these upside down? All right, so let's go to advanced. And then... It appears like we can. Okay, so what I'm thinking then, that being the case, is... I am thinking that we break out this block and put the spike trap there. So when they're standing here, they're getting thumped by the spikes. All right, let's do it. No, oh, <laughs> I don't have any gas left for this, for Pete's sake, man. Um, and I, I even put the thing on. Okay, let me go get some gas. I'll be right back. All right, we are back. Let's go ahead and bust this thing out. It's gonna take a little while. Yeah, maybe not too long with this. Okay. Now what we wanna do is grab, oh, I guess we already have these. Put that there. Uh, what's the durability on this, by the way? Let's, um, it's 5,000 hit points. Okay, so we are, and what does it require to repair? Just iron plating. Oh, that's nice. Okay. We're going to have to keep an eye on it because if we get an, a demolisher explosion, then um, that thing could go away. So I have a little bit of iron plating here. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. In fact, if both of these are up, can we get under here to repair it? Yeah, we can reach it from there. Okay, cool. So I guess all we have to do now is just hook up power to it, right? Because it's it's supposed to just have its own protruding spikes. I'm going to drop some stuff off in here. So let's take the Rockbusters to the mine with us. All of this stuff can stay here. Uh, we'll, we'll do an extra thing of gas, but I need to take some gasoline to the mine too. 
The plating can stay there. We're going to need to use this right now. Concrete mix can stay here. And Rockbusters. We got the, the drone. Oh, yeah. Let's drop this off. We'll drop off the 762s because we have a full stack here. And let's drop off about half of our shoddy shells. Good. Okay, so we, yeah, we gotta get some power to this. Um, we have, do we have a relay over here? Don't we have a relay sticking out the side of the building? Yeah, we do. We have two relays sticking outside the building. Oh, are they not? Did I not hook those up though? Hmm. And why don't I see the lions going to those fences? Wait a minute. What the hell's going on here? Something's fishy. We should see the power lines going over to those fences, but they're not they're not there. There's no engines in here. Why are there no engines in there? Okay, I, I, I don't know why none of our lines are hooked up. That is really weird. Okay, so I guess what we'll do then is... You don't have any scrap wire in your inventory. I guess we'll hook these back up. I, I don't know why they're not connected. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is... Okay, so that's hooked up now. Uh, now we need to get power to... Uh, to the spike trap. So for that, I think what we'll do is... This should be on, right? Oh, yeah, it's on. Okay. Let's jump back over that. Um, We might need another relay. Do I have a relay in here? I don't have one in here. Damn it. Okay. Well, this might reach, actually. Uh, why don't we do this? Let's go... Let's go to the upper one. See, problem is it's going to get... Yeah, it's going to turn red right there. But if we do, like, a little stair step... Are we still black? Yeah. Okay, can I just... Hmm... It's not, the power's not connecting to it. Uh, but then scissors that when powered trigger internal servos and pistons to quickly push out deadly metal spikes. Is it because we don't have enough wattage to support it? Or does it have to be... Because usually with just normal spike traps, that wire is live. You just hook the wire directly to the trap, don't you? I mean, you have you have to have like a trigger and stuff, but this is outputting 30 watts. And the fence posts only take 5 watts a pop. Yeah, 5 watts. So we're so we're basically pulling 20 watts so far. So that leaves us 10. Does it tell us what the wattage is on this? Load is 20. Ah, I bet you that's what it is. Okay, so we're going to need to get some more uh, engines inside of this Jenny for that to work. Okay, let me go grab another engine. And I'm going to also grab a relay, too. And hopefully that's all we need to do to get this to work. All right, guys, I got another engine here, so let's put that in there. That gives us, uh, brings us up to 150 watts. Um, let's turn that on. Well, no, actually, let's not turn that on quite yet. 
I grabbed a couple of extra relays too. I'm not sure if we're going to utilize this second trap or not. But we should be able to now hook up to here and hook up to there. Wire's black. Still not let me hook up. Is it because you have to do it? Uh, oh, uh, right, right there. 10 watts. How come it's not letting me connect it? It's like right on the corner. It's, yeah, it's not letting me connect it for some reason. Hmm. Okay. I I don't understand. Let's do let's let's go ahead and put a relay here then. I think this is out of range of the demo explosions. Okay, what if we come at it from underneath here? There it goes. Okay. I kind of don't like that, though, actually, to be honest with you. But it does, like I said, it does put things out of the demo explosive range. <clears throat> what if we put the relay out on this side instead? That still doesn't make sense why it wouldn't connect from up above. I don't know. Okay, yeah, let's, um, you know, the other thing, too, is if we just came off of this relay, then we wouldn't, we'd save ourselves five watts, wouldn't we? Okay, disconnect that. Disconnect this. Let's put this relay here. That must be, yeah, we must have some kind of half block business going on. What if we put it down lower here? Let's try that. It still kind of puts the wire right in the way. It's not functionally a problem, but it's... I think it looks a little jank is all. So the only way we can deal with that is if we put a third relay down here to go up into there. But then then we're getting into range of, of demolisher explosions, though, too. Of course, again, if a, if a demo goes off, it's likely to, to damage this anyway. Hmm. These can't be picked up, can they? No. Nope. Yeah, we just get the scrap iron from that. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what then. I guess what we'll do is... We'll just go with this. It's, it's not ideal, but it's functional, and that's the more important thing. All right, now what I want to do is... I want to see if I can get a Zeker up here. So we can test this. So let's see if we can get one, uh, draw, you know, draw one's attention here. It's got to find a zombo around somewhere. Oh, whoops! Didn't mean to do that. Where's all the seekers? I keep uh, bumping my um, my mouse button. Here, we could probably just go into one of these buildings and wake up a sleeper, actually. 
there, zombie, zombie. Alright, this is more difficult than it should be. There we go. Okay. Follow me. Come on, big boy. Where'd he go? Down here, dummy. Okay. Come to Papa. There you go. That's a good zombo. You coming, bud? All right. Look at you go. He's got to go the long way to get up here. Did I lose him? We might need to uh, to damage him a little bit to get him to... Oh, he's down there. Okay. Um, I don't want to damage him too much because I want the... Uh, the base to do most of the work. Come get me, man. There you go. Oh, shit. Wrong way. Come at me, bro. Is he coming? Yep, he's coming. Okay, let's turn this on. Okay, why isn't the spiky spike thing doing anything? Do you, act, you actually have to load that? Ow! Come back this way. Oh, shit. Oh, I put it over the ladder! Here, can you get out of there? Can you get out of there and come after me, please? Will this trigger on me? Oh, yeah, it will. Okay. So that's going to actually work. That's going to actually work, because as they're coming up the ladder, they're going to get thumped by the spikes. Let's see, if we can, let's see if we can get them to come far enough over to get... There we go. And I'll give you a spike in the nuts, too. Okay, I think that's going to work, you guys. <laughs> um, I'm just wondering if we should put the second one in in this spot though because we still have have that you know that will that will prevent them from getting through yeah i'm thinking maybe we should do that okay so here let's bring this these down okay this is gonna hurt are we ready go Ow! okay <laughs> okay let's turn this off Okay, wait a minute. This will support a total of 36 watts. Did I bring a second engine with me? I did not. I should have brought a second engine. Okay, well, wait a minute. Let's do the math, though. So, so this is... That's 5. And then each of the fence posts are 10 a pop. So that's 25. 
and then this is going to be 35 and if we put another one in it'll be a total of 45 watts and this is doing um 36 yeah we're gonna have to go get another engine okay yeah so let's get this let's get this one in and because that, cause that way it'll be hitting them, you know, both when they're coming up the ladder, but also as they're standing here. Okay, so let's put this in. And we want to copy rotation. All right, why isn't it going in there? Oh, because... Because that's going to block it. Okay. Um, all right. So we're going to have to remove this and, and redo this as well. Okay. So we'll put that in there. And then what we're going to need to do is... Do I have concrete blocks with me? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... A plate there, a plate there, a plate there, and then we'll we'll do the quarter blocks along here, and then upgrade them to titanium. But we're not gonna be able to hook this up until we get another um, another engine. Okay, so I'll go back to the base, get all that stuff, and I'll meet you guys back here. Okay, we are back. Uh, so let's pop this extra engine in there. That gives us a total of 36 watts now. Wait a minute. Why does that still just say 36 watts? Oh, uh, that's probably what it's it's actually drawing, I think. Uh, all right, so let's grab you. And hook you up. Oh, wait, no. Yes, no. We want to go off the uh, relay down below. There we go. Okay, so that takes care of that. So both of those are now running. And what we're going to do here is we're going to change this to a plate. Concrete plate. Okay. And then we will do an advanced rotation. Um, yeah, let's put that there too. And then we want this to be the quarter block that we had before. So that's going to be concrete pull. Side centered. Now this one here. Just like that. Perfect. Okay. And then these just need to get upgraded to um, titanium. But we got that upgraded to titanium, but I don't have enough steel to finish the rest of these. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go mining. Uh, for the rest of today, um, to get enough steel to finish getting these upgraded to steel and then to titanium. Let's go ahead and... Uh, change the shape of this back to the normal shape and we'll stick this in here it gives us 80 titanium plates we'll put this extra stuff in here for now that goes back there okay I think we're in we're in pretty good shape we'll go back to the base and make some more gasoline from there we've got the extra wire tool uh, let's put a little more gas in here Okay, and I want to, I want to test it once too. Let's 
so we should oh yep spikes and we know that this is working right yep that's working okay and then just to repair these we just need iron plating so we'll have to remember to keep those repaired so i'm sure they're going to take damage oh hair screamy we have 66 iron plating in here Oh, the screaming's going to come up. Okay. Wow. Those things do some serious damage. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> That's awesome. They do more damage than I was expecting them to. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be good, you guys. This is going to be a good horde night. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to go mining for the rest of today. I'll bring you guys back when the horde night starts this evening. And hopefully we'll kick some ass and take some names.